Today I'm making oven baked, easy Salisbury steak patties. This is easy to put together, it's a great one pan dinner, and it's gonna be good. Okay, so here I'm working with two pounds of lean ground turkey. You most definitely can use ground beef. I do that most days, but I had two pounds of lean ground turkey. To that, I'm going to add my pure, not pureed, but my uh, finely chopped bell pepper and onion. That's just one small bell pepper and one small onion. Here I had two slices of bread that I made into breadcrumbs. Some people like to add saltine crackers, crushed crackers, or even uh, oats. You can do that. I'm gonna use beefy onion soup mix, one package. Here I have uh, a tablespoon and a half of ketchup. Uh, maybe two tablespoons, that'll work. We'll do two tablespoons. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and I hope I said that, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Anyways, two teaspoons. Here I have some garlic powder. By the way, I also had cloves of garlic in the mix with the fresh onion, bell pepper, and garlic. That's right. So some garlic powder. A little bit of seasoned salt, maybe a half teaspoon. Cracked black pepper. Going in with two large eggs. There we go. Clean hands. I'm gonna get messy and mix this well. Okay, so this is completely mixed. Here I have a large baking pan. This is I think it's a 15 by 10. I'll put it in the description below, but it's larger than a nine by 13. Here I have one slice large onion. Just gonna put it on the bottom like that. If you, have, if you like more onion, go for it. Now with clean hands, I'm going to start creating these patties. Actually, I'm gonna oil my hands first. Take whatever cooking oil you have, this is olive oil. So I'm gonna grab some. And palm size works. I'll see how many I can get out of this. I might make them a little bigger maybe. And this is kind of like Salisbury steak. Um, 
or you know ground beef patties even though I'm using turkey uh, baked in the oven you know I do this on the stove top as well there we go or mini meatloafs but it's more like a patty I think I can get like three of these. There we go. Okay, so these are done. I divided them into nine uh, patties. And again, you can do more onion. Definitely use ground beef if you've got it. I had two pounds of ground turkey, which is perfect for this recipe, so I went with it. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do for the gravy in this. I'm gonna take one and a quarter cup of water. Here I have two packets of brown gravy. Now combine well. Now I'm gonna pour it into my pan, just all around the patties. If, if some gets on top, that's okay. This is going in a preheated oven, uncovered, uh, an oven at, set at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna take 45 minutes or so. Okay, so it's already been about 20 minutes, kind of halfway through the cooking process here. And I noticed that the gravy was a little too thick. Um, so I went ahead and added another half cup of water and kind of mixed it around let's see here so yeah so typically i do this with ground beef and it seems like the one and quarter cup of water mixed with the two gravy packets works best because i guess the ground beef does render off a lot of the natural fat and juices more than lean uh, turkey so if you're using ground beef Try it with the one and quarter cups of water mixed with the gravy first. And if you need more water, just add it. So I think that'll do the trick. I just didn't want this gravy to be watery. I do want it to be more of a gravy, a thickened gravy by the time everything is cooked through. Okay, so this is ready. It took 40 to 45 minutes to, to bake in the oven. So I'm going to take this out and let it set for about five to 10 minutes or so. Ah, oh, that looks so good. Now, while it sits here, I'm going to garnish with a little bit of parsley and cracked black pepper. And here is what we have. This is ready to be served over your favorite mashed potatoes. I'm going with some steamed rice and this is dinner. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.